What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I had a question from JJ. He is a viewer of the channel. He asked me a few questions so we're going to try to touch on every single one of them in this one video. First he asked me is it better to be an auto mechanic or an auto body technician? Second he feels like there is a lot of electric vehicles coming to the market in the next five years which he isn't wrong. Um, will that disrupt the auto industry? And third, what is the tool expense that he should expect for the first two years? Now, JJ, those are great questions. Let me touch on the first one, auto body technician versus auto mechanic. Now, they each have their own um, individual uh, place in the world. Let's touch on the mechanic side. Being a mechanic, great. You'll always know how to fix your vehicle. It'll never break. You'll, your vehicles won't break down because you know how to maintain them. I mean, they will, but you'll be able to fix them. Um, there is a lot of learning in that industry. In the automotive industry, you're constantly learning. Engines are constantly evolving. Um, and we're starting to go away from gasoline now and going more towards electric. If I was you and you're getting into the mechanic side of things, move more into learning about the computer and the technology in a car because as we progress, we're gonna start steering away from the gas engines. It's gonna be mostly electric stuff. There are tons and tons of computer systems in cars. And if you're not good at diagnosing um, the technology side of a car, you're not gonna be in business for long. Granted, there are people who need basic work like brakes and oil changes and stuff. Now, you were asking about the electric vehicles in the next five years as well. Yes, electric vehicles are coming in. Will they disrupt the auto industry in the next five years? I really don't think so. Why? Because, think about it. We still have vehicles from the 80s, the 70s, the 60s that are still on the road today that are antique. Later on in life, these vehicles that we have on the road today will become antique as well. People like me and you know how to fix these. A lot of other people out there don't and they're gonna want to cherish these just like they cherish those yes electric vehicles are coming on the market yes it's good to learn the electric side of things also the computer side of things so you stay up to date with stuff but in the next five years just because electric vehicles will be flooding the market doesn't mean that the gasoline engine is gonna go away completely you have to understand there's a cost of the cars. Now, unless there's some government buyback program that no one knows about yet, and they're gonna bring that out, just like cash for clunkers, where the government gave you like 4,500 for your clunker for you to upgrade to buy a new car. Um, there are chances, there are some, there could be a possibility that we may have like an electric, uh, we may have like a gasoline buyback thing from the government where they buy back your gas car and give you a really good incentive to buy an electric vehicle so we can move towards the future with that. I also have a theory about this as well. The gasoline prices are super, super high. What is the best way to get people fed up of gasoline engines to move towards electric? Not being able to afford fuel. If you can't afford fuel, you're going to try to find other means. Um, you're going to look to buy something else that it's more accessible. As you look on the road, you see a lot more Teslas, you see a lot more uh, electric vehicles from other companies. I think Chevy themselves said that they want to do away with their gasoline engines by 2025, if I'm not mistaken, or 2030. They want a full electric fleet. Even Ford's doing it. Um, a lot of other manufacturers out there are doing it. So, the mechanic side of things, you're always going to have some work there. Um, but if I was you, I'd say get into diesel. You're gonna need diesel, regardless of it's, if it's electric or not. In order for the electricity to flow to charge your Tesla, it is run by a diesel motor um, regardless. So I really don't know how electric that gets, unless they have some generator out there that uses wind power to generate the electricity to run, to run the Teslas, then cool, that's on its own. But I believe it's a diesel motor that helps generate the power to charge your Tesla's up so diesel is honestly the way to go or learn how to do both also you want to know about the auto body technician side auto body technician side is a very good feel as well people are constantly crashing their cars 
you can open up a shop on your own and get a lot of insurance work. Insurance work is definitely your bread and butter. You deal with Geico, you deal with Allstate, you deal with farmer's insurance, whatever insurance is out there, you deal with them. They cut you the check, they send out their adjuster, blah, blah, blah. They look at it, they cut the check. You're getting paid. Um, so that's guaranteed work. Being on the mechanic side, you, you got to follow up with your customers unless you're dealing with a, a lot of fleet work. Because if you're dealing with fleet work, you're definitely going to get paid that way as well. You're dealing with big companies that are reputable, they'll, they'll pay you. Um, some companies will pay you like three months out and stuff. They hold your check for three months and then pay you out. So if you're now starting up, that might be a little difficult to fund everything while you wait to get paid. If I had a chance to redo it again from automotive to auto body, I'd probably learn the auto body side because as an auto body technician, you have to know how to take apart cars. You're still gonna have to remove the brake system. You're still gonna have to remove the suspension system. You're still gonna have to remove uh, sometimes engines to paint the whole thing. Usually they have mechanics to help do that, but a lot of the times the auto body guys do it themselves. They probably wouldn't understand how everything functions together, but they will have an idea. And stuff like that, because we have Google, we have YouTube nowadays, it's easy to learn. So, it, it's it's not that hard. They teach you how to diagnose on YouTube, on Google. And you, you, there's so much information out there for you guys. It's like literally a wealth of information for everything for y'all. But, I don't want to be the one to rule your future, man. Honestly, that's up to you. For me, I'd probably go with the auto, auto body side because it's guaranteed uh, insurance money. Um, you know, it, it looks fun, it looks neat, the things that you can do. It's like an art. And the mechanic side, I, I would have done it as a hobby because you can pick it up, you learn a lot from other people. But same thing with the body side, you can pick it up as a hobby. Like I do auto body as a hobby and uh, it's fun. And I learn a lot, you know, I'm not the best at auto body, but I figure it out here and there. If I don't know something, alas. Second, with the EV vehicles, yes, a lot of them are coming. Will it disrupt the auto industry? Not yet. I think we're pretty much good for the next 15 years or so. Um, we should be good. And uh, 15 years, I just gave that number. I don't know where I pulled that out of, but I just have a feeling we should be good till then. And so what? If it does disrupt the auto industry, adapt, bro adapt the the biggest thing in life is always adapt always keep learning the day you stop learning is the day you stop moving forward so always keep learning and third you want to know the expensive expenses of two of the first two years it's expensive stay away from the matco truck stay away from the snap-on truck stay away from whatever truck comes to your shop yes it's convenient uh, yes, they'll give you an account. You don't have to pay interest, blah, 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 whatever. Don't let that be the reason to go start an account on the truck because you're going to put yourself in debt trying to get everything and you don't need all that. You can go to Harbor Freight. You can pick some stuff up super cheap. They do the job, lifetime warranty. So what, you have to take a day off and go to Harbor Freight to get something changed or take a moment out of your day just to go do that. Who cares? Um... Instead of them coming to you, you're going to them. Big deal. You still get lifetime warranty. You can get Craftsman. You can get all these other brands out there that are cheaper. Shop on Amazon. Those are the things I would do to save some money. Um, toolboxes. You can get, you know, Husky from Home Depot. You can get Harbor Freight. You don't need the Snap-on. You don't need all these other things out there because they're super expensive. So I have I barely shop on the snap-on tool truck i barely snap uh, shop on the matco tool truck i would occasionally go on there just to see what they have once i see what they have i look it up on amazon i look it up at harbor freight see what i need the only time i buy something from snap-on or matco is if it's a specialty tool that you cannot find anywhere else but they have it and there are some moments where it's like that and you just have to bite the bullet and buy it because you need it the rule of thumb that I go by is if you use it or ask for it three times to borrow, buy one. You're going to need it. Um, I think it's awesome, you know, that you want to get into this stuff. A lot of people are getting out of this field, especially nowadays where the situation with cars is where it's hard to find newer cars. People are keeping the older ones. People are trying to get their 
um, older cars fixed to keep them on the road because they can't afford to buy a new one or can't even find a new one to buy go go into this trade regardless of what it is um, auto body or mechanics the mechanic side you'll make a lot of money nowadays because people always need their car fixed they don't they, they lose money if it's broken down they can't get to work they're losing money they can't run their business they're losing money they need that vehicle the auto body side it's cool insurance work either way it's a win-win bro it's up to you but I put in my two cents in that and if you want to know anything else definitely hit me up on the Instagram like you did or comment in the comment section below bro thank you so much for that question JJ really appreciate it and I'll see y'all later peace